Good morning. We're live. We are live indeed. All right, Bumble Squats, welcome to Waffle Time. I'm Mitto, this is Jay, and we're going to waffle about some RC stuff. Mostly MST. Stuff. <laughs> Mostly MST today. We've got a bunch of MST stuff. Yeah. Um, we are discussing uh, the new RRX, yep. which has just landed with us, and we have had running, which is pretty awesome, but yep. we'll come back to that. We've got new wheels, um, the selectable, selectable offset. offset wheels. Uh, we've got new AKM knuckles. We've got some upper arms. Uh, we've got servos. IFS kits. We've got servos. Uh, we've got some new alloy bits with the XXX. So we've got a whole bunch to run through. And then we've got to talk about Toyota Corollas. Again. Again. We like those. Let's just so go with eight, okay. eight sixes. Let's eight just sixes. Squeeze, squeeze some more modern stuff in every now and then. Is that because you don't have a Toyota Corolla? Currently, yes. It, it, yes, it does. It, yeah. We need a Corolla badge for your 86. That's what no, we need. No, we don't. You do. You need like a retro one. like a. I was <laughs> to get a Levin sticker. One of the old crap <laughs> Levin stickers. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, let's get cracking. Yeah. So Crack a lacking. RMX. Uh, RMX? RRX. RRX. I did that on Instagram yesterday and somebody corrected me. Did you? Yeah, my phone, because obviously I've typed RMX so many times in Facebook and, yeah, and all yeah, that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So it predicted you. It predicted it, and I didn't spot that it changed. That's me. an incredible excuse. But it was there for you like... You should be a racing driver. It was there for like <laughs> 24 or 48 hours before anyone even noticed. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay, yeah. So, so anyway, the it's the RRX. because yes, the rear rear. The rear rear. <clears throat> rear rear. <laughs> there it is, with its uh, asymmetrical haircut wiring. Yeah. And, uh, and a very uh, it's, rear it's, heavy <laughs> yeah. look, which... It works amazingly, to be honest. It's pretty immense, Yes, yeah. to be honest. Um, the first comparison I'm going to have to make yep. um, is to um, an RMX that runs here, yep. uh, run by a gentleman called Mark Bennett, who is, um, well, I, I can't we've, say we've he's a professional. We've mentioned him before, but he's, he's basically in full-size racing as a... It's his day job. Yes. For a, it's his day job. For a very big company. Yes. Uh, Specialising in suspension. Yeah. Um, and Mark spent a long time um, perfecting his RMX. Yeah. And I yeah. say it's it's the best rear-wheel drive chassis I've, I've driven. By a massive margin. By a massive margin. Yeah. Um, excluding Japan. Yes. Um, um, I, 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 but that's... For, for me, it, I didn't see anything in Japan that came close, but we didn't see a lot of that when we were Yeah. There. Um, but yeah, it's incredible. And the RRX is like 95% of that out of the box. Yes. Like literally put First it together, lap. stock settings. Yep. Holy crap, this is awesome. Um, it's It's got a lot of forward drive, which, you know, a lot of the uh, the rear wheel drive stuff, that's, that's what they lack. You know, mm. they lack that kind of squat grip, get down and go kind of movement to them. And it, it drives like a four wheel drive with big counter steer. Yeah. Like it's it's easy and it makes it fun. It's very you know? realistic looking as well. For me, yeah, for me it's, it's not obviously it's very dynamic. There's a there's a lot of shit, there's a lot of um rear wheel drive chassis that I've driven that drive really well because they've been tuned, but they've been tuned with lots of weight, so they're a bit sluggish and a bit slow yeah, to respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the movement isn't quite realistic. Whereas this it just kind of does what it's meant to. In terms of rear wheel drive, for me, it's faultless mm -hmm. so far. So at the level I'm at, I can't pick a fault with it so far. I I want one. I I'm like glad it. I have one because the, the trouble I've had is <clears throat> for me, rear wheel drive lacks the aggression of four wheel drive mm -hmm. until I drove Mark chassis, and then I was like, wow, that's that's really good. Like that's that's got my interest because yeah. it drives. You know, it, it's fun. Like it's fun to drive. It's got that aggression in it. I haven't really driven anything else quite like that until I drove the RRX, mm. and now it's like, oh man, like I'm, I'm gonna need an RRX, yeah. really. Uh, it's it's drive. good enough that for a moment I considered selling everything else and just having that, just going rear wheel yeah. drive. I was just like, this well, is amazing. you know, the, the one thing this this can do, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to describe this very well because I haven't put a lot of thought into this, but it's super balanced despite looking like it's really rear heavy it doesn't drive super really balanced heavy. but there's i, it drives I, I, really I was gritty. really um on wednesday night i was having a blast driving my own line because i was the only rear wheel drive guy running yeah um but i wasn't running our usual line i wasn't trying to run a train line or, or a fun line or anything like that. i was running and, and carrying as much speed as i could to the far corner yeah and floating out to the wall on the brakes yeah yeah which 
I've never been able to do a rear wheel drive before because if you brake, it tends to want to spin. Yeah. Or it tends to tuck in. Yeah. yeah or you know, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It's not balanced. And that was just floating. Yeah. And it's that's in, in full size cars. That's one of my favorite things to do. You throw it out there and yeah. just bounce it. In. Just even just left foot brake, like smoke the front tires a little bit, Corolla style. Just that's that's my thing, and you can do it perfect with that. So as soon as I did that, I was like, "Oh, this is fun! I want to keep doing this." Yeah, and, and that's yeah. that's exactly the thing is with rear wheel drive. It, it it has to be well with any RC. It has mm. to be fun, or we wouldn't bother doing it. But that the RX just literally makes it fun. It is it is kind of worth pointing out to to anyone that doesn't know. And we probably should show that view of the chassis as well. Um, this uh, this does have a whole bunch of upgrades on. Um, just because I'll always end up with them anyway, so I might as well start with them rather than <laughs> because finishing. we have that wall behind us. Yeah, and you know, um, so this has aluminium stuff happens um, front and rear lower arms. It has aluminium rear uprights. It has the new AKM knuckles, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, adjustable shock caps. Uh, it has the bolt-on rear hub wheel weights. Yes, it does. It also has the new um, well. It has the A and B and C and D upper arms. Yeah. Um, um, one thing that's quite interesting with this as well, which is the first time I've seen it on any um, RC chassis, is the front front bulkhead component is a one-piece CNC part, which is not going to be very visible on this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it completely is. So actually, the the left and right are completely joined yeah. by this yeah, it's one, bar here. It's a one, it is one single bulkhead. It's like a very crazy gearbox. Um, there's a whole lot of adjustment. You can make some pretty crazy wing mounts out of this as well, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have to chop it up a bit. It'd probably be the most expensive wing mounts in the world, but, um, but that's it, just cool. It also has, uh, you can position the battery further back than I've currently got it and, and things like that as well. So it's, um, it's impressed me more than I was expecting. But to be perfectly honest, I say that every time MST come out of the new chassis because well, just everything every, always every, gets better. Every, every time they bring a chassis out, they've put all the research, all the development in, and they don't bring out a chassis to just have another chassis. They bring it out because it offers something new. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I like about this <clears> is actually because it's, you know, for rear wheel drives, you've got wires everywhere. Mm. Um, and actually, I, I think that's quite. Yeah, Mito did a good job of uh, quite sorting neat. the wiring for me. So you can kind of hide wires and things like that. Those that know um, me know that I'm not bothered to sort nice wires, but I appreciate it when it's done. Yeah. So like, I, I just wanted to get it running. And you're like, no, 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 I've got to make it look good. It's got to look good. I was like, okay, of course right. it does. It's a day job. It is. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of upsides to the chassis. Downsides? Um, uh, I don't like the ESC tray still, particularly. Mm. Um, I wish there was an aluminium option at least, or something like that. Um, this is exactly the same setup that's on the R R but RMX. To be fair, but it's fine. You don't, you don't really need to run it. I mean, you're not actually using it. You're using it as a battery clamp. So yeah, the only reason I'm running it is because I haven't got anything that will allow me to remove my battery. Yeah. I can fix the battery in, yeah. no problem at all, but I can't remove it. So maybe even stuff. a part that just has that end yeah. piece on. Um, which is easy enough to do. We've got, we've got stuff. Makes no sense to anyone watching because I'm like pointing at something down here. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, the. I, I, it's in, ter like, in terms of the way it drives, I, I did a fair bit of tweaking and tuning on the front end, um, just to see what it did, and it seems, um, I, I may have jinxed myself and I touched some wood, but it seems harder to make that, that drive badly than any other rear-wheel drive chassis I've had before. I think that's just because it's got so much rear end punt. Uh, possibly, but I've, I've massively changed the way it drove, but it was difficult to make it a bad change, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that um, makes sense. It, it was just different. There was there was only one only one setting I put on that was not, not useful at all, and that was um, my Ackerman, and I knew it wasn't going to be. I ended yeah. up with Ackerman that I would never run anyway. But, uh, it, I mean, to look at it, it looks like a almost like a buggy, doesn't it? Yeah. You know? yeah. Like a, a two-wheel drive off-road buggy, but it kind of works. I've seen someone rear wheel drive drifting one of those. It looked pretty good, so yeah, it only makes sense. Um, for um, me, though, I'm not. There's no real downers about it. Yeah, like, um, I like it. The the only thing I'd like is more of the aluminium options to come out, um, because obviously there's a little bit of plastic on the on the battery tray, and uh, yeah. part of the gearbox. But yeah, that that will happen, I'm sure. Yeah, um, well, but, but still, again, yeah. it's it's the same deal with everything. Um, Essentially, 
MSC have to make this so that it can sell at a price point people are comfortable with. And there's a lot of people that come, that say that the VIPs are too expensive anyway. Yeah. So if they added more aluminium, the price has to go up. Yeah. And and then there's nothing to do yourself with it afterwards. Yeah, to, to be honest, I love adding all the new stuff, and I know I've done it all in one go before I even ran the chassis, but it's a it's it's a very satisfying. But then thing. We're, we're nerds and we like that stuff. So yeah, we'll yeah, go sure. for it. it was very very easy to work on. Um, particularly the front end having no. And it comes and with it comes with a ball diff in the back, does it? It comes with a ball diff and standard in the back. It is a plastic one, but it, they're, they're the very back. good. Um, no diff in the front. Obviously. It is it is worth mentioning as well. Not that you can see it that way around. Um, the gyro that comes with all of the ones we have in stock right now, which are the pre-ordered versions, um, is upgraded to the RS version of the gyro, so it's a remotely adjustable game. Yep. Um, if you get one further down the line, if you're watching this on repeat, chances are it will come with the S version. It's not a huge difference, apart from being able to remotely adjust it. Um, but, yeah, the, the gearing is pretty good as well. Um, it's It runs a, a 42.11 gear set in the back. So actually, and this is triple X gear, is it? Yeah, triple X gears. I also I haven't tested this. I do plan on testing this probably this weekend, putting an aluminium ball diff for the triple X in because I believe they're exactly the same. Okay. Um, but I haven't tested that yet. So um, judging from the, the fact it runs 44 mil drive shafts in the back, it probably tells me they're the same size. Um, I'm assuming the bulkheads are in the same they, they, they look, I can't see them going too it. They far look away from, from yeah. you know, MSFS diff. Yeah, well, they diff. did that with the RMX. Yeah. And I think it makes more sense to stick with uniform parts but anyway the, the the standard gear ratio that you can run on it um, runs from 9.09 .09 to 12.26 so it's running a very high fdr okay um and what standard, uh, you can drop that with by changing the gear set what size spare is that on that, a seven? Uh, that well that's uh, a 74 i'm running 74 24 okay and with the standard gear in yeah i can't remember are you, are you getting hot no nah. super cool and i'm running a lot of turbo because cool. because that's my ESC that was in my old four wheel drive RMX. There you go, seventy four twenty four. That is your starting point. It runs good. Get on it. Um, I also noticed a few other yeah, things. Yeah, it runs I mean, perfect. We we skip past them really, but the AKM knuckles. Yeah. Um, which I've got myself. Well, well, we'll get just before I forget. There's there's one other thing I want to point out. Oh. Um, <laughs> the steering on this has actually been improved quite a lot. Um, the, it includes ah, a standard yeah. apart, which we're going to mention later on because we're now having, having stock for the RMX. It comes with an aluminium rail mount. Well, should we, um, should we just do those it. now, seeing well, as we're on the RMX? We can do, yeah. Um, give you them. Essentially, it's it's the the plate that the bearings for the slide rack mount to. Um, a standard on an RMX, there it's carbon fibre, and the aluminium option apparently just seems to make a massive difference. I, uh, I tweaked my settings very slightly the other day and can't see them when I put them there. setting it um setting the uh the rack was easy super easy worked perfectly which the rmx has never been too difficult but it was sometimes you'd have so to what, do it what's the times. what's the difference to this it's just it's just aluminium and more rigid okay and just clean um, clean the steering yeah and i think maybe the the fix things work a bit better um one other thing that is worth mentioning as well for the first time on the ht system on the front arms the uh, I can't see where I'm pointing, but the hinge pins for the upper arms are now held in with a grub screw on the top. Oh, than, okay. Rather than yeah, yeah, the front, yeah. So there's a little grub screw just there. So, yeah, instead of the um, uh, which I actually screw being on the back edge. Well, there here. used to be a screw on the front it's and on back the edge. Top. Um, and that having one screw there makes it a lot easier to get them in and out. Oh wow, there's literally one screw. Yeah. Oh, that's super easy. Yeah, that's a big improvement. Which I didn't, I didn't see a problem with the old way. Um, but that that works so much better. Well, yeah, because it's just convenience, isn't it? Yeah. So instead of trying to get your drivers down yeah. here, it's just which on an hour MX is always a pain because of the uh, ESC tray. Yeah, if you've got, if you've got one twenty mil drivers, that's where you need a, a wobbly ball head, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, so that's all the the RMX. Anyway, uh, yeah. uh, 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 We're going to do that so much. <laughs> but um, amazing chassis. If you're looking to go rear wheel drive, that is the chassis of the moment um, for sure. That to me is a game changer. I say yeah. that every time. Yeah. <laughs> um, what I mentioned was these fantastic things, which, yeah. which I'll have to show the colours individually. Uh, these are the AKM knuckles. That's the new dark blue, which dark is blue, not which is... like the traditional MST blue. It's more like a Yokomo blue. Yeah. So that should match up with your yes. Yokomo chassis. Uh, black, of course. Silver, which is the ones I have fitted. So Jay's got on. Uh, red, which are the ones I now have on my overdose Dival right here. 
um, and purple. So that's all the basis code, really. Um, it's um, worth mentioning right off the bat, these are rear-wheel drive knuckles out of the packet. Yeah. They um they come with a very skinny stub axle, which you can mount weights to the back to if you wanted to. And if you want to go four-wheel drive. You four-wheel drive, you need optional four-wheel drive, drive shafts, um, stub axles, which will... Uh, convert they, well, you they work perfectly. They also have a, there's a new design um, yeah. of, to hold the split pin in on the shaft. Um, a little sort of circlip. Yeah. So you've got a circlip that wraps around the, um, the the output shaft, I suppose. Input shaft. Is it an input or an output? It's an output shaft, isn't it? It's a dog bone or a stub axle. That's the easy way of saying it. <laughs> One of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've I fitted them on um, on my uh, Deval. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> um, I've got both options for the overdose knuckles. Can we show this? Um, yeah. No, yeah, we absolutely can. You can do your leaning. Um, so we've got both the options for the overdose knuckles. But this are, this is the um, steering positions. Uh, how many options are there? Does it say? Um, how many? There's going to be twelve, I believe. Uh, yeah, because there's, there's three different screw mounts, and you, well, can, turn, you can flip it left or right. So. Yeah, there's ten different positions. So there's, there's basically, um, is that like literally like forty options or something? Yeah, it's. More than that, it's 48 options, I believe. That's just crazy. for the steering, so th position. that's just for the steering. So that's the steering ones. Uh, these Inside. are the uh KPI adjustments, yeah. And then you have uh kingpin deviation adjust, which is basically the trailing angle of the hub, yeah. um, which there's a bunch of options, yeah, on as well. Essentially, there's nine holes top, nine holes bottom. It's ridiculous, um, plus. All the essentially the the um, the steering mount is well for most of you will have already seen it because these have been announced a long time ago. Steering mount can be, steering mount can be moved between three different positions, yeah. that are screwed in, and you can turn it left or right so that it sticks inboard or or outboard. And yeah. it's ridiculous. You can fine tune to your heart's content. And well, the the trailing angle is great because you can you can drop your uh, trailing angles back. Yeah, and remove forward pull from the car or you can create dive on the knuckles and create forward pull yeah. so it's it's really interesting because you can effectively generate counter steer just by changing the angle of the the hub yeah. is in in addition know, to caster in addition to caster yeah so it's kind of you know instead of just caster just leaning them over yeah. you're leaning them back and you can still do your kpi adjustment in inboard and outboard. Yes. So it's ballistic, but they, 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 I don't. I think these knuckles will do absolutely everything any other knuckles on the market will do, and then a whole load more. I'm not aware of anything that these can't do. I'm not aware of it. Well, this is why I've put them on the Deval. Um, you know, my, well, how many, you need to show the lock because the lock is pretty ridiculous as well. Yeah. So right. this is four wheel drive. That's four wheel drive, and that's the the lead wheel. So I've got that, and that's you know nice and free, still spinning, rotating freely, um, and I can I can put more lock on than that. Yeah, um, I'm running quite a lot of uh, Ackerman, well not that much, but this thing will drive literally on full lock. You know, uh, same thing, rear wheel drive, Ackerman knuckles. I, yeah, I, I could have more lock than I currently have. But again, you know, if you actually put them side by side, you know, as a four wheel drive knuckle. It's pretty good. Like you've got more lock, but there's there's definitely more lock available to me than I'm using. I'm not bothered to run big lock. I'm actually yeah. Yeah, it's not too dissimilar. No. Nah. You know, and that's um like I say, I mean they're amazing. Um because I've uh, obviously switched to uh MST shaft, so if anyone's interested, um I ran the what, what length are the fifty threes. Fifty threes. Fifty threes. Um I think ideally a fifty Two might be better. Um, right, your your option for MST is fifty one or fifty three. Uh, so, so um, yeah. it, it is worth pointing out as well on rear wheel drive um, on that uh, with the right offset wheels and a few tweaks that setting. I believe you could probably run ninety degrees of lock on that with thing. those with those knuckles. No problem. Oh god, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, the, I never would choose to because I'm never going to use that lock. But um, well, that's fair, man. For those for those people that obsess about it, just get on it. They've got super low scrub radius too. Um, if you want, 
if you want, or they've got big old scrub radius if you want. Exactly, and that's kind of uh, in terms of millimeters. Yeah, what's that like? Maybe eight millimeters. Uh, no, Something it's like more that. than that. Uh, uh, I did know the measurement difference. I so. In fact, I think it says on that piece of paper that you had. It shows okay. you, I don't know. It shows you the difference between the holes. It does, but it didn't say the distance. Uh, uh, I thought it did. Oh, never mind, anyway. But you got a whole bunch of adjustment, anyway. Um, and I'm very happy with them. Very, very happy with them. They um, they run a slightly smaller bearing, which I forget the, the size. It's a 5x9 bearing, um, but you get them included. They literally include everything you need to bolt them on. Apart, Apart from, from the four wheel drive, four wheel drive stuff actually, if you're going on four wheel drive, but if you're going on rear wheel drive, they go straight on. It's super easy. Um, I bought some, I bought some, and I'll buy some more to be honest. They're, they're the best, knuckles they're, they're not got. cheap. I will point that I've got both, admit, like they are a two piece knuckle, so they're not going to be cheap, exactly. Uh, and I, I have both sets of overdose knuckles. Realize we've but, got something, <laughs> you know, they're, they're not, you know, they can't do what the MST knuckles can do, no. so although the quality is obviously overdose, so. yes. Yeah. Uh, additionally, with hubs, the thing Jay's just picked up is our new aluminium brake discs, larger ones, large ones, six mil uh, hubs, yeah, and the discs are massive, yeah. They also uh, allow you to fit grub screws, um, so they look like a two piece brake disc, yeah. And I think they look pretty cool, to be perfectly honest. Um, we don't, we we haven't run brake discs for two I kind, years. I kind of want some. I'm tempted. Um, I want them because they'll just fill up so much of the wheel. Yeah, and that'll look cool. I'm. Um, I can actually run the calipers on the front because I've got MST knuckles. Yep. Amazing. So we got those anyway. Yeah, I think they're they're, they're very cool. Uh, again, they're slightly more expensive than the other ones, but they are massive. In yeah. fact, I think on the Large back it shows you the size. You've got. The front one's a 37 and a half mil diameter, and the rear's a 34 mil diameter. That's big, man. That's like having 12 pop Brembos. On but it's like having 370s. Yeah, that's that's, that's <laughs> massive. Fives. Uh, okay, so the other thing you may have noticed whilst these shenanigans have happened um, is that on this side of my car, I have black and gold wheels, and on this side of my car, I have white and chrome wheels, and they are the same wheels. And on, on mine, I have the same design, but we've gone for silver and silver because it's silver. Flat it's silver. silver with chrome silver yes. lips, yeah. which is classic sort of BBS Le Mans type look. Yes. Um, I'm not saying the BBS Le Mans, but <laughs> they, they do look a lot like BBS Le Mans, <laughs> and I'm all right with that. Or work VSXX. That style of rim. Yes. But, yeah, um, they're very cool. Um, these are the new... MST selectable offset wheels, as we mentioned before. Um, currently, we have both designs in stock. Um, we have the LM style and the 501 style, which Mateo will show you now. I will. Um, so, there's them. These are there's more of a mesh wheel. Basically, it's a bit confusing this, and we need to sort of, for, for those that have already seen these, that's all, all well and good. But we should have not picked black for this, just saying. Well, we've got other colors of silver there. So, um, what, they're like a, uh, a BBS. No, they're like an SSR mesh. SSR mesh. Yeah. But for other people that don't know what an SSR mesh is, Google like, SSR mesh because that's exactly Google what they it. look like. <laughs> well, they, they look like the um, BBS that you, that you get on an E30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could be like. Um, I mean, they're they're kind of E55 style. They're E30s. Uh, yeah. They're, so, so, but if, flat, if it's, effectively, um, if you're running, RC, I forget the BBS wheel, but um, one of the classic ones. They're a bit like. Um, the SSR meshes is what you need if you don't know what they look like. Um, but they're available as packs of four, which come with two, um, well, it comes with the centers, comes with the barrels, it also comes with tire foams and wheel nuts, or they're available as pairs. And if I give you the barrels, and I'll take the centers, so you can buy, you can basically split your colors if you want you to. Go. Barrels. Um, if you do it this way, you will need to buy tire foam separately, and you will need to make sure that you use 5.5 mil wheel nuts on these because that's what they're designed for. That's why they're included in the factor four. It costs you slightly more to buy them separately. Um, these these aren't all the colours, by the way. No, 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 there's a whole bunch of colours. There's there's far too many options for us to show it on here, but they're all listed on our website. Um, they're all in stock. Every option that's currently available. There is also two new designs that have been teased by MST this week, yeah. um, which is the Star 21 and the Star 106. 
Uh, both look pretty awesome, um, and we'll have them in as soon as they're available. These officially, um, well, it's as simple as basically, for those that haven't seen them, I'm sure everyone has, you've got four notches on the rim, and you've got lugs on the on the edge of the uh, center, and you basically select your offset. So you can, for every single set, you can do three, five, seven, or nine mil offsets. Yep. And officially, you have to glue them. Um, that's not the offset I want. That's the offset. Officially, I, want. I would recommend that you glue them. I haven't um, had to so far. You will. I haven't had to so far. No problems at all with mine. But I am running rear wheel drive with less load. So yeah, that might um, be very similar to the uh, MST uh, interchangeable offset. Well, cha effectively changeable the MST. Uh, the MST, the Tetsujin. <laughs> yeah. Um, because obviously the Tetsujin has the clips. Yeah. So you can take it apart and change it and all that sort of thing. Uh, the MST, like Joe says, you can slot them together, and if you're lucky, they'll hold together. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't, you know. I think if you, especially if you're outdoors on tarmac. Yeah. If you're on like anything that. super high grip, or yeah. if you're on grippier car than we have here, yeah. you probably have to glue them. My advice would be probably put as little glue on as you can get away with, so that maybe you could remove it later on. Maybe. If you want to reuse them, um, because the the beauty of this is when the new when the new style comes out, you, you can just buy the centers. Exactly. And use your existing rims, assuming you yeah. haven't chewed them up. Or, or, yeah, when your rims are battered, you can just replace your barrels. Replace your barrels. Yeah. Um, seems to be the, uh, the you know, quite the new thing, really, to have two piece wheels. These, um, and obviously, I say as well, these seem to have better clearance than the Tetsujin wheels. Yeah. These, these clear all the The Tetsujin stuff, has the fun. locking tabs. Yeah. So it has to be stronger in a, in a different way. Yeah. And originally, the whole interchangeable offset came from a uh, Kazama. Because they had the flipping barrels. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was then used by Street Jam as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all the same stuff. Uh, was it Kazama? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Kam Kazama wheels or Street Jam. One or the other. They're in cahoots anyway. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, so you've got those and they're sick designs. So They really are. I mean, I, I'm happy because I get to run like a VSXX, which, which is one of my favorite wheels. VSLM, man, for me. Same thing. Um, and also I get to run SSR Mesh and I, I'm running all this stuff and i've not really had well that, that i've might... not had a wheel from mst that i can put on an old school shell and be like that is the wheel for that shell but these are it i think maybe now's the uh the time to bring that part in I, I maybe i mean i could mention it so um that in mind uh i'm making this i'm pretty sure i've shown this before yeah maybe but yeah, we've got the um, we've got the retro Toyota gathering coming up next weekend. Next weekend, indeed. Um, which everybody needs to just get in on because we're going to have a bunch of sick Corollas here. Um, not that there's any crap Corollas because they're all crap, but in a good way. Yes, this is this is the uh, the magic the, of eighty six. The, the magic that you learn when you spend a lot of money on a crap old car. You love it, but you know it's crap. Yeah. You love it, but you know. But it's not it's, crap. It's amazing. It's there's so many better cars you could buy for that money. Oh god, yeah. Like ridiculous money now these days. You know, M3s just and stuff. No problem. You could have one of them. It's a shush. way better car. Stop it. But you still want the Corolla. Yeah. I'm as a, long as you don't think about those other cars, you're fine. Too hard anyway. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, I'm making a, a Corolla for the um, Corolla Brotherhood meet, and obviously, I've got the wheels for it now, so I'm super happy that's happened. They are the wheels. Won't, won't be the exact same colours as those. Shouldn't be too far off those. The not, not, not too far off. Uh, the other handy thing with these is, um, is you, because you can separate them, you can do whatever colour you want. Yeah, you can paint if them really you, easy. If you want, you know, pink centres or, you know, with blue barrels or whatever the hell you want, you can just paint if it. If you're completely colour blind. Yeah. <laughs> like um, yeah. Red and green. Because you can separate the centre out, it makes it super easy to... Uh, you could make centre wheels. It also makes it really easy to paint Koragashi marks on. Yeah, that's true as well, because you can actually mask a portion of the wheel. Really easy. Really easy, and have the Koragashi marks inside the wheel, or the, you can just separate the rim and have the Koragashi mark neatly on the rim yep. in tape. Yep. Instead or, of a, or, or painted. painted. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, super easy. Um, the, the cool thing as well is it's really easy to match body colour and stuff, because you yeah. can just take the centre out and paint it at the same yeah. time as doing the body. They have the exact same colour. Yeah. Yep. Um, it's, they're, they're ace, basically. This, I'm struggling to find downsides with them, to be perfectly honest. They cost uh, the same as normal wheels. I don't know. One thing I do like about them, which we won't be able to show you on here, is but the barrels are actually barreled. Yeah. So from the outer lip to the inner lip, 
they're not flat with a couple of ribs they barrel in with a couple of ribs so it's kind of a whole new thing i think that will create a lot more strength in the wheel yeah that's uh, why, why a lot, size lot less like that. lot lot less deflection for when yeah, you hit hit stuff. there's no way we'll show that not on camera unfortunately well we could um, throw the wheel at something and go look it didn't break or move on or move on um so yeah anyway corolla coming soon wheels are here Next select, up, select your offsets, up. select your centers, and be happy in life. Uh, next up, let's have a look. Than that, than that, that, uh, ish. Um, we can do this bit. Wow, uh, you've moved them. These bits, those bits, yeah, that's next. Those bits, um, we've These. had the uh, C and D you know, upper arms and aluminium in stock for some time now. We now also have very limited stock. On yeah. the um, because the, these are literally just out. Well, officially, these weren't out when we got them. We got a few bags of each color, um, stashed in our order when it was shipped at the end of last week. So, um, I can't get the light right. <laughs> these arrived with us on Monday. They are fitted to my chassis, they are phenomenal, they are better than I thought they would be. Um, in all honesty, have we, have we said what they actually are? Well, it's the HG upper arms, HG upper arm outers, outers, uh, yeah, outers. Okay. This this is a part that I really want for my Deval. Well, this is a part that I didn't think I ever wanted before I got them because I thought having plastic upper arms was the best thing you could have because then when they break, it's the cheapest possible option if you have a big crash. No, man, you want things that bend when you crash real hard. But <laughs> these now are so much easier to adjust than the old ones. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. There's there's two ways you can adjust them, um, which I'm not going to be able to show you because it's really super tiny and... and um, would be too awkward on camera they but work essentially like this don't do that on camera it's a, it's a slider <laughs> what there, do you there, think well, there's, there's a grub screw that basically holds the arm on a slider so you can slide it in and out and change your camber really easily that you can also screew them to yeah. um to to bring the uh so the range the of adjustment is, is massive it's huge I, I i probably added eight degrees of camber in four seconds that's just awesome and then took it off again because it didn't work <laughs> well <laughs> in the same know. amount of time but um it, seconds to, to change yeah. it compared to what it and was it's all steel, it was a bit fiddly yeah oh, steel yeah. insert so it's super strong yeah. um you're yeah. not going to put dimples in the in the um no screw um, um the, the only thing that you might well i would highly recommend that you buy with them is um upper arm spaces because the spacing with the aluminium arms is inner and outer arms is different to the plastic inner and outer arms. Uh, so, so if you, you want, want to match your other original stuff, you're gonna prob. It depends on where you are. You you may get away with it, but chances are you're gonna need some spaces to um to, to get into the right position. To get um, it bang on. Um, I'm I'm blown away by them, and I don't ever want to run without them on. I'm, I want to move on because I'm just jealous of them because I can't get them for the Deval. I can get aluminium gearboxes for Deval, however. Coming soon. Coming soon, Coming so we'll soon. show you those when they arrive. Yeah, and that's more money blown on possibly the most expensive chassis in the bloody world. <laughs> possibly, it's got to be up there. Um, while we are on uh, HG upper arms, um, I'm going to go into something else that stems from the originator of HD, which is the triple X. Yep. Um, we've got the uh, aluminium top decks, uh, which are just brutal yeah um they fit obviously purple silver black red and blue uh yep. they fit the uh s or the um wow. pro or the vip yep. and they'll um, fit non-ht or ht yeah so they'll fit them all and yep. they are badass yep. I'll, I'll show you they're, they're quite weighty out well on camera i think they're, they're pretty weighty uh they do have an antenna hole in them as well and they've got some nice bevels on the edges and stuff so they look pretty sweet the only thing i don't like about what they're doing with these is it's it's an upper deck that says upper deck yep and the hole for the antenna says antenna with an arrow yeah it's literally that is getting sharpied yeah but, that's um, other than that bang on. yeah sharpie red sharpie is a real good match for mst so yeah uh, as a as a, a handy hint if you do need to instantly do the akm knuckles match the overdose red uh, yeah, they're very very similar. The only thing with overdose parts that differs from MST is the overdose finish is a more matte finish, mm. um, whereas MST stuff is a more chromed out finish. Yeah. Um, however, that's kind of 
um, it, it, it's not too dissimilar that it looks weird. Yeah. You know, like you can get away with it because you ran all the overdose stuff on yours and it didn't look odd. No. It just looked like it, it, a your different eye, finish on a different Your, your eye gets chest. drawn to it. Yeah. So which is, which is normally a good thing if you're showing off your fancy parts. It is if you've got overdose bits. What says overdose on them? Yeah, man. Even though Taj, who are you going to hate that? Mm. He hates logos. Taj hates loads of things. Let's move on. He does. It's a grumpy man. Sorry, Taj. I'm not. Next. Next. So we got those. God damn, there's parts everywhere. Um, we have um, IFS kits for the RMX. Where have you got those? These things? They, they should also fit the um, RRX, but we haven't done that before. They're like VIP IFS kits. Yep. Uh, carbon and alloy in red, so, in uh, silver, and in purple. For those that don't know, IFS is inboard front suspension, so it converts your dampers from running like this to along the top deck, essentially. Yeah, so we've got those. Um, um, which gives you a, a fair bit of adjustment in terms of ride height without having to change your damper properties. It also frees up some space on the front for more lock. Um, if you happen to have the non- uh, VIP version of the IFS conversion. We now also do the uh, hinges. Or if you want to create your own IFS conversion for a different chassis. Yep. Or you want to do baggy suspension or that yep. type of thing as well. Um, real good rounds. because the way they're set up, um, the hinge is actually quite small. Yeah. So your levering points for for like doing baggy style stuff, you can basically extend them as far as you as yeah. you want with grub screws. So and you can it's extend one side rather than the other. Yeah, so it's, a, you can it's the however it. many grub screws and shims you can afford is yeah. the adjustability of Pretty it. Pretty much. Unless you want to make it a meter long, like a big, you know, so your car looks like an albatross. <sighs> Nobody come up with this shit, man. Um, Science books, man. But anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm very tempted to put one of those on the RRX. Um, and do need to double check it fits, but I've checked out the shock tower and it is identical to my RMX one. So I, I, can't I see definitely like the, the idea of the inboard suspension. Um, for example, on my Deval, I'm now having problems with front clearance because I'm getting so much angle. Yeah. Um, it's not so much of a problem when I'm on lock, but uh, it means that I'm limited in terms of the position of my suspension. I've just remembered another related part that we have in stock, which I'm only going to grab one off. Um, and it's going to be very hard to show that. If you can do that, I'll point them out. Jay's grabbed his balls. Um, we now have aluminium ball suspension nuts. balls. Um, you can't really see those. I'm so. running them on my um, on top of my damper. Basically, you can get them in body uh, in chassis colours. You can get purple, black, blue, red, or silver. Yeah. Um, and they are to mount your dampers. And They're also very good. They work very well because, as you can see on mine, well, you probably can't see on mine. I just use them with no with no nut. On the end, how you turn them backwards and just use a five and a half mil driver. It does a job, and there's still uh, still the free play there, so yeah, perfect. That's all you need. Uh, another tip while we're on it is when you're mounting your suspension, never bind it solid. You nope. always want some free play. Uh, you don't forward, want back. You don't up and, and rotational, down. but not up and down. Yeah. yeah. So we have those things. Um, what I should have mentioned when we're talking about the triple X actually was uh, the triple uh, X S. I believe. Yes. And VIP? It'll fit everything, but they're designed Just, for the S. Yeah, they're designed for the S, but Triple X, uh, center one way. Yeah. Uh, we've got those in, in red. Before, um, that's the rear motor version. That's the rear motor version. Previously, yeah. the only way you could have a center one way on the um, was rear motor prop. was a one way prop shaft. So yeah. that now uh, is a spur gear mount, essentially. Yeah, so that's um, a spur gear mount with a one way output yeah. from the rear. Yes. So technically, you could have three one ways. Yes. In your triple X. I wonder how that would drive. I want to try that. We can do it. We've got all the bits to do it now. It, it, I'd imagine that when you brake it, all of a sudden it would be like having rear wheel drive completely. I would imagine. Because if it's, if it's completely yeah. disengages the drive. I'd imagine you get, yeah, it'd be, it'd be pretty fun to try that actually. I think there could be a little, uh, little side project for us when we get the triple X videos running. Hang on, does it go into the, does it fit at the front or the rear? Oh, no, it's a spur, so... Yeah, it's a spur gear holder. I'm trying to work spur out... Spur gear mount. That's basically what your prop... Ah, the prop goes onto. joints goes on to. So, it, I, was, I was thinking, for some reason in my head, it was it disengages the rear drive completely, so you just got no brakes. 
That's <laughs> being an idiot. You could, you could probably fit it the wrong. Oh, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't fit it <laughs> the wrong way around. Anyway, we've got those. Uh, we're a big fan of Centre One Ways because yep. they make things super aggressive. Um, we've got some guys here running double ball diffs at the minute, which you probably um, hear us mention every week. Yeah, but actually, a double ball diff with a Centre One Way will change direction. Yeah, like nothing you have ever seen. It's not realistic because it's it's the the fun combo though. It's almost like the car will be this direction and then it'll disappear in time and appear at another angle. Like it just it, it, remember my old uh, yeah man uh, was it MR4 was MR4 yeah man yeah double ball diff sent it one way. It's a shame nobody got to see just, that really. It just it it warped time when it changed direction man. It was so weird. It but, was um, ridiculous. Yeah, to the point where mega ridiculous. It was way too good a car for your ability at that time. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like the Deval is now, but you know, stuff happens. Um, so yeah, the only other thing we've got to mention, well, no, we've got some more stuff to mention actually. Um, is back to the AKMs. Did we mention the knuckle weights? They're not anything to do with the knuckle weights. They're for the rears. Do they not fit on the AKM as um, well? I haven't tried that yet, so I wasn't going to mention it. Okay, well, potentially they will because they fit where a, the brake calipers go. Uh, but we have like they a bolt probably on. fit. Uh, uh, they're ten gram weights. Ten gram knuckle weights. Come in a pack of uh, two. I'm currently running two packs on the back, which you can possibly see through the uh, through the rear wheel. I've got a way of doing this. Oh, you do. I do. That would be easier. It would. It is. I am. So they Jesus the Christ, man! I don't know. I've got to test it. So Jay has two of them on. So that's his current hub assembly. That's quite, a good, quite a good view for once. I think you could probably run those with a brake disc as well. I'm not sure on that. I that, do not take that as golden because they're um, to, actually to, to fit on with the selectable offset wheels. You have to use you have to lose the plastic mount that you that you, uh, that, you that come with the weights, um, which is why they're not quite straight currently because I obviously haven't bought with that on properly. Yeah, but they're. Um... Otherwise, they are. They, they do clear. So but you've got 20 grams on each knuckle now. Yes. You rear wheel drive cheat you. With wheel weights. <laughs> with wheel weights. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I've got to try these things. With, right? a, with a rear motor. I've got to try. That's just greedy. I've got to try. If I don't try, then when a customer asks, I can't tell them if it works or not. That thing's fast. No oh, shit. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, so anyway, we've got those knuckle weights in. Yep. They're ace. Um, we've actually had them. I think we've showed them before. Um, but we haven't had them in stock for a while. So, um, yeah, they're pretty good. You're missing one quite important thing. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. The new MST uh, DX251L brushless servos. I'm sure there's pictures of these online. But yeah. Um, they're very high quality. Servo. Um, and pretty fast. And in some good colours. Basically, yeah, you can run them on 4.0 to 6 volts, um, which means they'll work with almost every single ESC that's yep. out there. They're super, super glitch-free, which is a big thing for, especially running rear-wheel drive for gyros. There's certain combinations that don't work so well and, yep. and that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, they are pretty talky, actually, for, for a drift um, servo. Oh, yeah. um, up to uh, 12 kilos of, of, uh, of torque at, at 6, six volts. volts. Yep. And at 6 volts, they're also 0 0.076 seconds per 60 degrees. Which, which is bloody fast. It's fast. Not the fastest, but plenty good enough for everyone, especially yep. when you're considering that they run without any glitches on almost everything, it seems. Yeah, and obviously um, they'll be designed to work with the MST gyros. Yes, they are a perfect um, match. They're Obviously, as as we point out, they come in different colored heat sinks on them. I, I also like that the, uh, the logos on them is... Quite subtle. Quite subtle. Yep. Um, a lot of manufacturers manufacturers now put huge logos on. Um, and I also like that you can have a black on black option. Yes. Um, which, you know, if you if you really hate the logos that much, because uh, they're white on black, easily sharpied out. Yeah. Um, or, easy, easy to kind of... Yeah. Put, put a sticker over it or something. Put a sticker over it. Um, just, the the cool know, thing for me is run I sort of. on my silver chassis, I love having a full silver servo from OMG. I think that yeah. looks ace. Yeah. On most of the colours, like on my gold chassis, it's hard to get something that matches. Yeah. But on the Triple XS, for example, the black plastic servo with the uh, red aluminium will look ace. 
yeah. not too much it's not too in your face exactly and I, i've um, always been a fan we of also we do have the omg servos coming in the full colors as well so we, we will yeah. have the in your face option coming well, soon. i've always been a fan of black electrics and a lot of uh, a lot of companies do quite odd colors you yeah. know so if you've got a chassis that's red and you know like you can only get your esc in green like it's just mm. odd you know so uh, that that's again something like about acuvans is that i can run a black you know esc yeah. i can run you know all my electrics my motor can be black my server can be black and it it helps make your chassis look really tidy but then again you know so does the omg stuff where you get full yeah. you know silver aluminium that's that's cool as well but anyway these are being tested pretty soon yep uh, yeah we haven't really had the haven't chance yet to be honest we've been yet. a bit busy um working with all the new stock but getting will, on the system and shipping back orders i will do my best to try and break one and then we know i'd be surprised if you could yeah. i know exactly but we do test stuff to destruction so that everybody else doesn't have to or we fail at destructing and uh and then we sell them yeah yeah there you go it's generally the rules yeah that's all right um so we got all that stuff um the the the, the big thing to mention again is that next week we have the uh corolla brotherhood yep uh, and we, tomorrow uh, the retro that's toyota that's gathering is was it the retro toyota gathering with the corolla brotherhood yes uh we have some pretty cool cars coming and i believe there is a, know, certain, a certain relevant car manufacturer bringing a couple of old retro cars down for us although master are bringing cars yeah no it's Peugeot yeah <laughs> um but uh I'm still waiting for 100% confirmation on that but we also That'd have barbecue coming from the, barbecue. Good, good local butcher we have RC drifting yeah as usual um and just a bunch of cars and it's just gonna be a fun day highly recommend you book your tickets for RC drifting if you haven't already because yep. it's, it's free to come and see everything outside but if you want to drift on track I'm anticipating that we're gonna be very busy yeah. which is good it's gonna um, be manic it was, manic, it was pretty it was fun last year even though the weather sucked hopefully this year yeah. we'll have better weather and we're expecting a lot more cars this year yes which is which is very good love all the cars nicely out on display yep. at the front my Corolla will be here so you can laugh at how tucked away in the corner together. that is going outside the front door man no it's not <laughs> yeah, it's blocking everyone from coming in um but yeah you know I'm, I'm super hyped yeah man. super hyped I love looking at Corollas I love just looking at all the stuff that everybody else has repaired. I'm like, not going to say improved because you're just repairing stuff. I like driving Corollas, and I used to like looking at Corollas when I had a Corolla. Now it just makes me think, oh, I want a Corolla. I want another Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, Instead of an 86. No, as well as an 86. Go off both 86s, man. Modern daily. Crazy race car. The thought did cross my mind for a moment. But... The thought has crossed my mind many times, and I've just got to work out how to win the lottery, and then I'll have everything, and it'll be fine. Can everybody online please order several or RRXs we could do each? This. If you'd like to make my dreams come true, just donate as much as you can to my PayPal. And I've seen people doing that all the time. There's about 10, 10 kids I've seen in the last couple of weeks asking for donations to buy new wheels for their cars. So apparently that's a new thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, just donate. I can't afford this stuff. I don't want to work for it. So just <coughs> give me money. God, so I, if that I, works, I'm I'm down for that. I might try that. I need a Formula Atlantic engine. Yeah, with a spare backup motor. <laughs> Please buy it for me. <laughs> yeah, and I'll have fun and make a video so anyway, you can watch me have fun. We we don't have many questions this week. Genius. Um, compared to normal, <laughs> we don't. Well, especially then, compared to last time, we were off last week. Yeah. So maybe people think we forgot about them. Um, sorry. First question comes from Stephen, which is: Will the RRX come in non-VIP at some point? Uh, possibly. Um, we get asked this question every time a new chassis comes out from MST, and it all depends on how well it sells. Um, if there's the demand for it, then MST will always convert the chassis to become uh, I, a, an S version. I think there will be because it's so leaps and bounds ahead. I think there will be because it's significantly better than almost everything else, but also yeah. because there's not that many more parts to create to, to do it because there's yeah. a lot of the parts available for um, the either the FXX or the FSX, which are both available as S versions. Yeah. Like the motor mount, the, that's already available and, and that kind of thing. So I don't think it'll be a, 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 a massive amount of time, but it will all depend on demand. And to be perfectly honest, people need to buy this chassis. Um, it's badass. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we actually one thing we, we haven't even mentioned I've just realized is we have these in stock in silver purple and red yeah 
<laughs> which would be helpful to know. And as I say, they're, they're all the pre-order versions that come with the RS gyros. Yeah, basically a free gyro. Well, they come with a free gyro anyway, but a free better gyro. A free better gyro. Yeah. All right. Uh, incidentally, speaking of plastic chassis, um, just as a side note, I'm quite excited about the overdose as yet unnamed. Yeah. I plastic. find it weird that overdose don't name their chassis. Insane they, looking thing. Before they, um, but that's, that's really clever, actually. There's, they've posted a few videos and a lot of photos showing that how easy it is to break the chassis down into and for maintenance Component and stuff. Parts. And but the and, valves like that, you can just take off the yeah, whole yeah. front end. Well, the, the guys are super clever at overdose, but the cool thing I like about it as well is they're mounting the suspension arms from underneath the chassis. Okay. Which is something I wanted to try with an MST for a little while because changes well sent there quite a lot oh okay so the hinge pins are upside down kind of thing the suspension mounts are upside down yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. essentially they're not obviously because they're designed that way but they to take the suspension arms off comes off the bottom of the chassis like a full-size car yeah that's cool so um yeah that's quite cool and no an overdose there's going to be every aluminum option that you could i hope so i like of. that they're doing it the other way around though because it should be more affordable um Oh, I'm going to have to buy a new chassis and it's oh, going to be expensive. The, the, the cool thing with it as well is currently it's there's a lot of plastic and there's a very rigid um, sort of upper deck with side braces. Thing. Oh, yeah. Um, but that when, that, when that comes out in aluminium, oh, it's going to be yeah. about £4,000. But It'll be the it's going to look that. incredible. Yeah. And yeah, I want one already, having never seen what it's going to look like. Who cares? It's going to say so, overdose on it and be mad looking. Yes. Right. So anyway, next question. Um, from Bradley in Australia is right, Bradley. when setting timing on the sensor motor and ESC, do you add what's on the motor, for example, 20 degrees, and then say 10 degrees on the ESC to make 30 or one over all the other? They compound each other. So basically, you add the 10 to the 20 and get 30. Well, yes, it all depends on the ESC and how, it, how the ESC gives you the timing as well, because it could yeah, be that yeah, you end yeah, up yeah. with. Um, if you've got 20 degrees on the motor, it might be that for half the rev range, you've only got five degrees kicking in. You don't mm. always end up with the full amount straight away. But um, essentially, as a they, rule of thumb, the 20 degrees is the minimum you will run. As a, as a rule of thumb, yeah, I would assume that because you don't want to end up in ridiculous figure. You don't want to be running like 60 degrees of boost. You know, I mean, you can, but yeah. it's not really recommended. As a... As a compounded number, the most boost you want to run really is 40 degrees. Even that, I'd say, is too much for most people. It's, it's Yeah, that's a lot. I, mean, uh, I, I run 27. Oh, no, that's not true. I, I'm i I'm on about 24, I think. I, I run 40 in yeah, my boost, but then it drops off on turbo. My turbo timing's different. Yeah. But, you just... That's, but that's, that's, that's not something we recommend because... It's easy to kill stuff. Yeah. That, that, that's and I, I have spares. <laughs> I have a shop with spares in it. They're still bloody expensive, though. Yeah. Um, that's all our questions. That's it? That's did, it. Which, did we miss any last week? It's pretty good, because we were almost on an app. No, we didn't miss any. We got to all of them. And we weren't here last week. It was the week before. Yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah. We're the ones from last week. Nope, that... got to everything. Nobody, nobody talks to us. Nope. Nobody cares. You assholes. Apart from the uh, <laughs> the people that are currently viewing. Oh, that just shut up. Is that because I said asshole live on air? Probably not, because if it was... Then... Okay. Asshole, asshole. <laughs> no, it went down. <laughs> no, it got deleted from the internet and blocked yeah. by YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything else to add in that you're... I like the RRX. I'm very happy with my decision to buy it in silver. Um, I do actually... Oddly... How about telling everyone how many chassis you have in your possession right now. Should we start with, should we just go with how many chassis I'm currently selling? You own seven chassis. Do I? One, yep. two. That doesn't count. Three. That four. counts. That counts. Oh, that doesn't count. That's, that counts. No. A Jex Racing conversion with a few bits bolted on is not a chassis. It has a motor mount. It has diffs. It has shock It doesn't powers. have diffs. It has, it has diff cases and the rear spool. What's that thing in there? It doesn't it's have one in the front. It's a, it's a river. Doesn't, it's a river doesn't, doesn't have one in the front. It's not a That's chassis. That's a chassis. It's bolted That's together. It's, it's a got chassis. no steering. It's got no suspension. It's seven you have. How many have I got, Joe? <coughs> Actually, eight. Eight? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's one over there, don't forget. But, admittedly... How many do I have? 42. How many do I have, Joe? 42. <laughs> <laughs> one. 
You're being greedy. Oh, me too. I'm not being greedy. It. I'm selling all of them apart from two. But how did you get to a point where you had eight chassis? Because stuff hasn't sold when I've bought the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I expected things to have sold by now, and they this, haven't. So you realise eight chassis is that well, Corolla you want, don't you? No, it's not. Eight <laughs> chassis is like the wheels for the Corolla that I want. Um, one of them's going today. Right. One of them might be going tomorrow. That was supposed to go last week, but hasn't. Can't you just give me one? So I've got more than one. I'll give you one if you give me a lot of money. It's fine. It's fair trade. I think I've got like about 80p. Um, in fact, hopefully by Sunday, I'll be down to three. If all goes well. That's quite a change. That is quite a change. Does that mean you're going to buy wheels for your Corolla? Probably, if I can find them. Probably. Ah, that's a good point. If anybody knows where I can find a set of NT NTO3M wheels. What colour? In... I think they call it bright silver or just the regular silver, not the hyper silver. Yeah. Please let me know. 18 by 9.5, ET40, 5 by 100. Or 18 by 10. No. They don't make them. Shh. <laughs> 18 by 9.5 plus 40. Why does that keep putting my volume back on when I'm turning it off? I don't know. I thought it was some sort of question. Anyway, that's all right. full time. Yeah, we're done. We're, uh, uh, we'll hopefully be back shit. next week with some cool stuff. Um, and we'll be getting ready for the koala meet. Um, Panicking, freaking out. Yep. And I should have a Corolla body to show you that's not clear. We'll see. Um, I believe it when I see it. But yeah, like and favorite this shit. Yep. Become a deck chair today. Did I do deck chair before? No, but I'd have gone with driving God or Corolla God or something today. We've talked a lot about Corolla, so. Become a Mito sponsor today. Yeah. Sponsor me. But I'm a Formula Atlantic. Formula Atlantic, please. Yeah. Anyway. If anyone from, where is it, Hasselgren? Yeah, that's not going to happen. If anyone from there happens to be watching, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that'd be good. Just that's just hook me up. not going to happen in the slightest ever. Just if you know. want an engine testing, give it to me and I'll break it. <laughs> if you want a really well-developed 25-year-old engine design <laughs> testing now, <laughs> when it's been proved for over two decades. But, yeah. but it just hasn't met me yet. I would have. They would have made it better if I'd blown several of them up. Yeah, let's just forget all the amazing drivers that have had them. You know, they're fine. too amazing. That's the problem. I'm, <laughs> I'm crap. You're the guy who will just miss shift all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's supposed to rev to 19, right? <laughs> You'll see what happens when the valves hit the pistons constantly. It's fine. They make anyway. baby. <laughs> anyway, let's end this shit and get on with some real work. Um, uh, and then I can go and drive my RRX later on. What, when we're closed? No, when we're open this afternoon and I'm finished for the day. That's just an asshole. Okay, works. Bye. Afternoon off. Hama Kavula. Bye, people. We're going. Thank you. I'm going to sulk. He's going to have the afternoon off. I'm going to have an amazing afternoon. <laughs> and <then laughs> like dancing and drive my RRA. Oh, shut up and turn the camera off. Bye, guys. Peace. <laughs>